Megan, I, I really enjoyed my old ass, and this wound up getting an R rating, and it, it's really at its core this really sweet movie, and it just uses the F word like you know naturally in conversation like people do. Uh, I feel like everybody can relate to it and, and take something away from it. So, uh, was the rating ever factored in while filming, or did you just set out to make what was true to your vision? I mean, it's funny that you say that because yeah, the movie's not really that edgy in a sense that mm -hmm. but I think it, yeah it's just the there is an insane amount of f-bombs that ha happened organically just in a lot of the dialogue and I think I do write a lot of f-bombs yeah. also yeah and in my real life <laughs> I use it a lot so that's really what tipped us into the art category mm -hmm. I think was not necessarily the the content anything. it was really just the word yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no it wasn't yeah, intentional I, I, I hopefully parents will take their, their kids teens to the to the theater because I, I feel like this is just such a great movie, and Maisie, uh, I love the scene with Justin Bieber's One Less Lonely Girl. I was, it's, it's, first off, it's classic Biebs, great song choice. <laughs> but how was it doing that uh, that dance number? Because it, it's fantastic. Oh my God, it changed my life. It was literally one of the best days of my life. I've been waiting for that moment my entire life. Um, yeah, it was so fun. I mean, Maddie and Chris are literally both professional dancers, and so we like went into like a studio and they taught me how. It was as fun as it looks it was like truly the best yeah i think that moment's gonna go viral once uh once it hits <laughs> streaming later oh, on oh god and uh <laughs> and megan uh, aubrey plaza plays the future elliot and there's only a few scenes where both uh aubrey and Maisie are together but uh you really make the most out of them what stood out about just seeing those two interact with each other i mean i just somehow felt like their chemistry was going to be so good and it was um and they're, they're weirdly similar. Like you guys are so different, but so similar mm -hmm. um, and very similar sense of humor as well. Um, but it was really special all being together and it, you guys clicked really quickly. Yeah. Aubrey was only up in Canada shooting with us for like a week. So we all kind of really had to get to know each other uh, really fast. But yeah, it just, it worked and she was really down and open to just jump right in and play and um, experiment with us and it, it really, it paid off the chemistry just like pops off the screen between the two of them i think for sure yeah they're great moments amazing my last question did you and aubrey try to like get any specific behavior patterns down to mimic each other playing uh the same character or how did that go well i was filming for like a week or two before aubrey was attached so my baby elliot was already like established and in any normal situation and any any other project, I would be matching Aubrey wherever she's standing, and and this she kind of had to match me. Um, so I did like the first time I met her, I definitely was like, oh my god, Aubrey Plaza is like really staring me down. Um, I think she was definitely <laughs> trying to like you know take notes of like mannerisms and stuff, and I I think that was probably what we what we focused on the, the most physicality, was, like, physicality yeah. of it. Um, but I think that energetic wise, I think we kind of embraced the differences and. That's like my favorite part of it is that an 18 to 39 year old, you're, she's kind of like the hardened version of Baby Elliot, which I yeah. literally love. So I, I liked our differences a lot.